So how do you get over the awkwardness, the awkward feeling in the room, the awkward conversation, just feeling awkward? How do you stop this feeling? We all know how much it sucks to have an awkward moment, right? We have to embrace it sometimes where it just happens and we feel awful, but it's a part of life. And the first and foremost thing you have to think about is you're gonna have more awkward experiences than you'd like. That's okay. I've gone through my fair share of awkward experiences where you're both sitting there looking at each other like, uh, uh, and then you hear everyone in the room kinda do one of those where it's like, eek, yikes. It happens to the best of us. You'd think that some people, oh, they just flow through every conversation, they never feel awkward. But trust me, they feel awkward. It happens. And understand that it's a human experience and it's a universal experience. We've all felt awkward before. It honestly happens a lot more than you think. But the thing is, is a lot of people just kind of brush it off because they understand like it could be awkward, it could be a weird experience, but let it rock, right? Just let the game flow, right? Let the let the story play out for lack of a better term. And it happens where you hear in a room, like two people peep something, but no one else peeped it, but you two peep. And it's like, it's weird, it's awkward, but whatever. Or when you ask someone out and they just tell you no, and it's in front of people and now you're embarrassed and it's really awkward in the room, happens but you have to understand that it's normal. It's normal to have gone through these types of experiences because not every situation is gonna be perfect roses and daisies. You're gonna have weird, awkward experiences, but those little experiences where they feel awkward, you're gonna learn from, you're gonna adapt, you're gonna become better. So understand that it happens to everyone and not to fret or overthink it too much. Think of it as a, as a time and a place for experience, growth. Yeah, it's awkward. Yeah, you're gonna feel weird a little bit, but again, it's better to have felt that little bit of weirdness and learn something than not at all. So it's okay. But a way to get over this is to understand that it happens to everyone. We all feel like dummies sometimes. You're gonna feel awkward. You're gonna feel like you're a little at a loss for words. You don't know what to say. But that's okay. Cause you don't have to know what you have to say every single time. And know that again, coming from someone like me who I would tend to say that I tend not to have too many awkward moments, but it's because now I don't because I've had so many in my past and I've been embarrassed over and over and over, but that's okay. Cause I learned from it. And that's why you become better and better at dealing with those awkward situations. And again, first and foremost, sometimes people that feel awkward a lot, they just also tend to be people who are very vulnerable with themselves and vulnerable with people. They're able to make fun of themselves. You're able to be like, oh my God, if that was me, I, I could not have handled that. But you're watching this person handle it with such class and such grace and they just make fun of themselves. Because again, you're able to understand that, yeah, it's awkward, yeah, it's weird, I messed up, but whatever, let's just laugh at it, who cares? And again, those are the best sets of people to be around because when something happens to you that's awkward, they don't make you feel awful about it. And make sure that if you see someone kind of going through an awkward moment, either do a light joke where it's not about them, but about the situation, or just know that you got them. It's not that big of a deal. Or say a funny little story about when you messed up even worse. So then just to change the subject, take attention away from them. You know, be compassionate, have some empathy, be a human being. And this again happens with the practical intelligence where you're learning from the experiences that you've kind of gone through and you're like, okay, I can see what to do now because I don't want them to feel really awkward. Make sure that you're really focused in the present moment so you don't have as many of those awkward situations. For example, you're just kind of dozing off in class and teacher's like, and Ali, could you answer number seven? <gasps> um, uh, uh, balloons. And everyone laughs at me. I sound like an idiot. But hey, it's gonna happen. Just make sure you're present in every moment that you're in so those experiences happen a little less. Remember, control what you can't control and understand that sometimes things will happen that way. Also, something that's really helped me is active listening. And again, to talk a lot, to converse a lot means you have to listen a lot. So when you're listening all the time, you're learning from people around you, you allow yourself to learn and see different scenarios and where an awkward situation happens, but you learn from that experience. And in do so, are learning how not to go through more awkward experiences. Again, something that really helped me is those simple little ice breaking techniques. Ask people questions, just get people talking about themselves. It makes it a lot easier. That's how you'll get over the awkward feeling of introducing yourself and the awkward feeling of being yourself. Just talk, ask someone a question. Be like, hey, did you like this? Hey, did you like that? Talk, let it flow, let the conversation naturally happen. You don't have to always share your opinion, but understand that when your opinion is needed and you want to add to the conversation, you add with it because you've thought about it, right? You thought about what you wanted to say. Make sure you do use humor as a tool though, because being funny is the number one thing that you need to do to help remove yourself from an awkward situation. I know I said it once, but I'll say it again because you've really got to emphasize this point that humor is going to really help you become less awkward and allow you to make fun of yourself and that's okay, right? Tease yourself. Be okay with that and understand that then when someone tries to tease you or make you put into an awkward situation, you're able to 
float your way out of it. All in all, being awkward is a natural human experience, but you have to understand how to get out of it, how to understand how to flow your way out of an awkward situation. And again, using humor, being empathetic, being yourself, and allowing yourself to understand that you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna feel awkward here and there, and that it is okay. Please, please put some funny, awkward stories in the comments, because I personally wanna read them. I know I have my own. I'll be sure to share a really funny personal one as well. And I really thank you guys again for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next week. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. I really do appreciate the love and support you guys have given this channel over the past couple months. It has been awesome, and I really do appreciate it, and it really made me just so grateful and so happy and blessed to have you guys supporting, and again, Feel free to leave those comments down below and I'll be sure to respond to as many as I can. See you guys again and I'll see you next week. See ya.